guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 1 and 2 of Suki Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 1 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> no, she's weird and she's awesome. Mhm. Mm no, she you know, Finally, goddamn. Is this girl embarrassing? No. Mm -hmm. She looked like she in London, but she kind of looked like she in Paris. Oh. So adorable, my baby. I'm not gonna, okay, I thought you like Hana and eat the damn crab. <laughs> I don't know why, but like with her dressing in the costumes, I so got it feels from interviewing Monster Girls. Oh. You in your hop out of my door, dog. Oh 
Hmm, okay. Makes sense. <gasps> my song. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking song it's a damn series oh my god <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so we're spending the last day of the fucking year watching the best song <laughs> oh my god my favorite beat is <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I love this song so damn much. Fucking perfect. Bahada, if he's supposed to be in college, shouldn't he have longer hair? Unless he cut his hair. What the? You have a detonator as an alarm clock? Yeah, fucking bomb. No, he's still in high school class. So I'm guessing this is going to be the story of way before Hana. Holy shit. Damn, it's a sad way to die. Oh my god, look at your hair! Oh, damn. Holy shit, both of you look good. Well, not like that with your nose flared up. Mm -mm. God damn, both of y'all got taller. That's what you have to worry about. Hey, sir. Please stop. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I mean, you could have took a bath first so you could go wash off your legs and your brother liked it, but if you want to go take a run first and then take a bath, that's fine. <laughs> Cut in, what the fuck? Where have 
I seen that dance before? I've seen it somewhere else. <laughs> Oh my god, stop or you're getting devoted off, kicked off the island. Yeah, I think I didn't like that a little too much, but that's cotton. Well, I think it's gonna go well because I mean in Hana we got spoiled that you possibly got into college. You were older, you had your own car. Just never would have thought it would have been a fucking bug though. <laughs> like out of all the cars he had. <laughs> it's a good, but it's interesting. It's different for him. I honestly thought it was going to be like a fucking Prius or something. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. I know she could have killed you, right? But then that would have been fine. <laughs> that is like the prettiest bath I've ever fucking seen. God damn. That is like fucking goals. Like, mm. <laughs> well, of course it is. <laughs> Good, okay, good, good, good.
<laughs> she can count. It's fine. At least she doesn't touch. Indicating that he's going to have longer hair. Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I thought you would have been more excited about it. Good to see if it comes out, just come. <laughs> Told you, excuse me. That's a little too rough. Girl, if you sell your hair, do you know how much money you'll get? Like, god damn, I would buy that fucking hair. I mean, cause her hair grow fucking quick. Shit. She'd make lots of fucking money on that. You sure do.
Mm-hmm. That's what everybody says. And then, you know what? We all fuck up. Mm-hmm. I know, you should be studying. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. How the fuck did I not notice that? What the fuck? <laughs> you're the you because you're you know you have you that vampire. You should be shown no matter what. I mean, it, it it shouldn't be because she was inside of you. Well, no, she's inside your shadow. That really shouldn't count though. But it, it technically it does. What the fuck? <laughs> I have a question about that. That's so weird. Because typically thinking about it, most vampires when they look in the mirror, except the fucking vampires from fucking Twilight, I'm sure. Well, um, they're they're not supposed to be shown at all. And, and then you know when they go outside. Well, we already know the situation when they go outside because we've already talked about that at the beginning of the damn series. But how the fuck are you not showing up? Why aren't you showing up? That's a little very weird. And then I'm guessing it's gonna have to do with whatever the heck is gonna happen in these last three episodes. But oh my god, it is so weird that. <laughs> happening. It's about one of my other favorite girls, even though this episode she was featured in for the first few minutes and then it was just really about Agaragi Kun, which is good because I needed that Agaragi Kun to come back into the lives of the show because even though there are times where they like the second season focus heavily, really the show overall seems like a focus heavily, um, on the girls and the girls only, and then Agaragi Kun is more of the minor character. This is an arc where it's still focusing on one of my favorite best girls, but still him. But <laughs> I really don't even know what the hell to say just about all what happened in this episode as a whole. I mean, the bath scene and everything, I, there were for some funny moments. I mean, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> what are we throwing the shampoo bottles and conditioner bottles at her brother? Like, that was like pure gold. That is like everything. <laughs> in a fucking nutshell. I did actually remember where that dance is from. <laughs> Which was so cute. I was like, yeah, why the fuck? And I kept thinking, like, while I was, like, watching it, I was like, I know it. And then I started, like, singing it in my head, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. That's the dance that she did in the opening. But, okay. So, now I'm, like, wondering the shit about what she knew we said in the beginning, plus the fact is now I gotta, you can't be seen in a mirror, because the, the biggest thing was, ever since I started the series, I'm learning that he is half human, half vampire. Um, and I never truly asked it in the beginning of the show. But I was like, let me kind of leave it in the back of my mind for a while until, like, whenever I want it to pop up, whenever I remember it, or something about it just gets talked about. And it was about, could he possibly see himself in the mirror? And bam, like, right fucking there, it comes up out of nowhere. I mean, my God. Okay. But can we just talk about the scene where he just literally licked his sister's foot? Like, that is, like, see, there are so many people who have foot fetishes, not me, but people who do, that, I I mean, when I see, I, I was like, one day, I, I was on Twitter, and out of nowhere, on my timeline, somebody retweeted a video of someone licking someone's toes, and it's just, like, I, I maybe gagged, 
and I was I, I threw up and I was just like no no and just seeing him I mean even though he didn't we didn't see him lick it but just the imagining of him licking his little sister's toes and fight her like the freaking hilt of her foot the bottom of her foot I'm like uh, <laughs> no I mean my god uh uh but it is a little weird how in Hana. And I got another question. In Hana, you know, he's in college. In this, he's still in high school and are going to go to college. So, because uh, the biggest thing I was going to, um, I was going to ask at the beginning of this, and I'm going to ask it now. It almost seems like I should have possibly, should I have possibly watched this first and then Hana, but then that would have been like going to season three and then back to season two for some other reason. And I think I probably would have confused myself even more. So I get the gist of why I had to watch Hana first and shit like that. So now I'm thinking, um... And I ain't gonna really know until probably later on in this series, because this is the last season of this show. I feel like um, Oshino's niece, nephew, nephew niece, is probably gonna pop up again. And I feel like it's gonna be like this. Since we now know that in Hana Managatari with Kambaru, the, the niece was a nephew, when we see them again, they're gonna be a niece, not a nephew. And that's going to confuse me a lot. So then one minute you're going to be a boy. And the next minute you're going to be a girl. I, like, watch it. It's going to fucking come. But probably by, like, the end of, like, maybe one of these episodes or in the next arc. There is going to be a point where he or she, he, she is coming. And then he's, she's going to be a boy. I mean, she's going to be a girl. And the next thing you know, we're going to go back to Kabadu. And then she's going to be a boy. And I'm going to be sitting here, like, my mind is just going to be doing, like, this the whole entire time. Like, what the fuck? Time traveling bullshit is this but i mean yeah i mean like the bath scene the, like i said it was awkward but it was some cute moments like it's, it's, a key. it's just so fucking adorable like oh my god her hair she looks so pretty with longer hair i mean cotton looks pretty with even short hair i mean how both of these two have gotten tall i mean like cotton is tall as fuck i mean yeah i get that because she could probably be like 5 10 5 11 the same height as me and i know that feeling but I still, what I kind of want to see later on in the series going into the next arc, um, the things that I saw in Hana. We had a moment where Kambaru and Cotton several times where they either talked to each other or they've hung out. I just want to see more of that. And then I kind of want to see um, Tsukishi, um, he maybe hang out with um, Hanekawa because, I mean, she has, like, an interesting relationship with Hanekawa. I mean, I don't think, you know... I would still want both of the sisters to hang out with Sanjohana because, I mean, the shit that we saw when we were talking to fucking, when we were looking at Kaiki's perspective, um, and how she was, he was always hanging out with Sanjohana and talking to her and how every single time when they would talk, Sanjohana was always at Aligaragi Coons. The shit that that ha that all happened during that shit, like that arc. I want to see that in this season. So maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, I don't know, but like whatever the fuck is gonna happen, it's just gonna happen. I just, there's so many things that I wish we could have gotten to see towards the end of season two that I'm hoping that's gonna be in season three. But as I said, if it doesn't happen, that's fine. I don't really give a shit, but you know, as someone who would just like to see cute moments of cute girl, of cute characters and shit like that, yes, cute girls and cute boys and stuff. And just really seeing the moments between um, Sanjata and Nagari Kun. That's what I'm like literally hoping. I I mean, like, season two had five or ten moments with them together or any time, but it, it wasn't, a, a, like, to me, it, it didn't feel like enough. I mean, like, thinking about to the beginning and to now because it was like a whole bunch of shit. But I'm just hoping that, like, in this last season, it's just a lot of shit between these two. They go on dates. And I mean, yeah, like, let them go. Go do the shit that you did in season one. Go out to the middle of the woods and look at the stars again. I want to see that again. Or, like, them going to the amusement park, them going to the beach, something. Like, give me an episode where they go on another mother freaking date. That's all I want. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. Nothing. Say so she saw a bug. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's like you want to freaking kill her right there with that neck pull. Oh, God.
Oh, hey, Cotton. Well, you both got in the bath. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, that was a good way to start the episode. <laughs> what the fucking beat over here? Oh, bruh. I can't. Maybe if you had some donuts. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like you ain't have my fucking donuts, master. We get the fact that your small toe hasn't healed. But it's healing slowly. I mean, you know, if we had, like, a magnifying glass or something that they could really, like, zoom into it just to see how much it's healing, I mean, it's healing slowly, so it's just going to take a while. Now I'm just getting Blenna's feels. <laughs> I'm fucking Mike of BDS a bitch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Well, yeah, but I don't know if you can know some shit. I mean, damn. Maybe if you call out their name three times, they might pop up. I mean, all the times that, you know, she hung out with you, you didn't ask for a phone number or something. Yeah, call Kiki. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's one of the only way that you fucking have. Lesson to Hada. Hanakala. Oh, Brian. But isn't Otto like that on Brian too? So then, yeah, I mean, that'd be smart. Yeah. Ain't that funny. You talk about her and then you get an email. And if Cotton walks in again, no, just oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it's because best girl on the city were probably gonna kill her or take her away this time, so <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute, baby! Why are you inside there? <laughs> Play the game. Mm hmm And try to win her. I know. Yeah, she 
Na basta mo na. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you gotta get her on the head. Seriously? Twelve fucking rounds? Jesus Christ. Yay! <laughs> okay, now get Onomoki out of there, please. <laughs> I know, it's weird how she's... Uh, exactly. <laughs> no. No! Yeah, why are you here by yourself? Yeah, it wasn't that much healed, probably. Mm. I'm fucking adorable, I love you. Are you oh, okay? Reading the palm. All right, good. No, oh, fuck Jesus. Oh, God. I mean, I get that, but damn, you couldn't just do one finger? You had to do two? Oh, I like some weird bunny ears. Mm -mm.
That's why you should have took the chance and just did it in the movies. <laughs> Mm. There's always a hell of a Why not? Is it something life threatening? Okay. <clears throat> oh. oh my god <laughs> Yeah You did a good job Better give her some damn donuts. Oh my god, she's so fucking precious, my baby. Honestly, now I just want to figure if she put on So body wise, but he'll still be no. I don't think he would be. Like by the end of this, he'll still be like a probably a full fledged vampire, right? I mean, but it is the last season. Hopefully he makes, like, some sort of appearance before the show ends.
Mm-hmm. But is there a way to reverse the effect, possibly? Uh, probably not. You can't turn back, can you? Of course. I mean, you know what? And I kind of figured that. You know, I was like, yeah, is there a way to reverse this? Probably not. I mean, but you know what? I'm going to be a little hopeful, maybe. Just like mm, 1% hopeful. 99.99% I am not hopeful. That 1% I am hopeful for him. But whatever it is, it's going to have to do with Ononoki. I don't know how, I don't know what. We're going to find out in the last two episodes of this arc to figure out how it's going to go and everything. But seeing what's her face with Ononoki was really nice because we hadn't seen her in such a long ass time. And she's one of those characters that I liked. Uh, I thought she was a little weird in the beginning. I mean, almost every character is weird in their own special way, but you still like them for certain reasons. But she's one of them badass bitches. I mean, I love the way she can. I got his ass <laughs> the first time. I mean, she went ham on his ass. I mean, goddamn, like I with him and Shinobu, you know, when they duked it out in the movies and that last movie, that was fucking hilarious. But the fight between her <laughs> and Aganagi and the fact that she went down on this man, kicked his fucking ass. I'm just over here like, yeah, that's what I fucking needed. I mean, yeah, he's an interesting character, but sometimes you just want to go ahead and kick his ass. <laughs> but still. Uh, what the fuck is he going to be able to do now? I, I mean, he's now, like, he's not even at a crossroad. He's stuck. He can't turn back into, like, reverse the situation or anything because of the fact that his body is slowly turning into a vampire. He, he can't do anything. So what the fuck could he do? It's impossible. There ain't no, you know, plan A, plan, but, you know, vampire was plan A. There ain't no plan B to Z, nothing. You fucking screw, dude. Like, I, I really don't know. I mean, but it, it's going to be something. In these last two episodes of, um, Suki Mana, I say it so wrong. Suki Managatari, something's gonna happen. Ononoki, she's gonna find out something. She may, like, what's the race may have her do some research, something. Maybe, um, maybe Kaiki could come up and say something. I don't know. Anybody for, like, these last two episodes could literally come up and say, hey, Agaragi, I found something to reverse it. Maybe. But, I mean, I'm glad that we were able to finally get the shit about the mirror situation. Because, like I said in the previous episode, that was something that I wanted to ask for, like, the longest time. And I'm glad that this finally came up. But it, it's so weird how, like, damn, I mean, yes, his sister broke his damn toe. It was fucking broken during the daylight and it was slowly healing. And then, yes, his powers are better in the nighttime. That's why it fully healed and shit. But... There's got to be something. I just still, in the back of my mind, I feel like there's nothing. With two fucking episodes left, and the fact that they're going very fast with this, like, first arc of this third season, I, I really don't think there's going to be anything. If there is, it's just going to be something that's probably going to be, like, a last-minute resort, maybe? I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's going to be something. I mean, but damn, both of these first two episodes is good. I mean, hell, like, going to the arcade and my baby, she just sitting there in the craving seat. Oh my god, she looked so fucking cute. I mean, I, in a really weird way, I also got feels towards, um, uh, freaking Magica Recorde from, uh, Madoka Magica. 
when uh, Goddess Madoka <laughs> was getting the... I don't remember her name. It's the thing that the girl that killed freaking Mommy, who ended up turning into this cute little character, and she's in a crane machine game, because I know it's not in the new thing, um, the new uh, thing for uh, Ma Magical Recorder for Ian. I know it's already passed in JP, so I think it's going to come out for us next week. I mean, not next week. Next year in the end. But it was, like, so fucking cute. She looked so adorable. Like, oh, my God. And the fact is, like, it took him 12 freaking rounds to get Ononoki out of the crane machine. And then you pull her out. And she looks like a damn corpse. I mean, it was weird. Like, the whole entire time when he was doing it for 12 freaking rounds, she never once responded to him. She's just sitting there and staring back at him. I'm like... You know, I loved you, but you are creepy as fuck. But you know what? That's okay, because I love creepy things. Cute and creepy things. That is my aesthetic and shit. But, like, girl. I mean, shit, you could have said hello or something. <laughs> but I love her so damn much. She's so fucking adorable. And, oh, my God, Shinobu, like, mm, please, can we just fucking talk about that out of everything? Just to bring her out was to say, hey, I got donuts. Freaking at going to McDonald's and then she goes up like yeah, <laughs> like fucking as this as great man up in this bitch and be like really girl really <laughs> like no you ain't got my damn donuts but yes hopefully before this arc ends next week or probably when I watch this on Thursday um because I don't think I really have anything on Thursday when it comes we'll see um maybe he'll finally go get her some damn donuts shit I want some donuts too like goddamn. But, mm. other than that, guys, <laughs> that is my reaction to me towards episodes one and two of Suki. Oh, my God. Suki Maragatsuri. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for after, well, really the finale of this arc, really just episode three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!